Hello, I'm Nathan Buccella. I'm one of the co-captains of the Concrete Toboggan team. So today we are going to be going through the process of how we test our concrete mixes. Um, we're going to be doing compression and flexure tests. And before we do the compression test, we're going to be using this grinder to grind the cylinders just to make sure they're smooth. This is the one we get to use. We don't really use the new one too much unless we're doing flexure, but it still works like a charm. Um, just gonna wait for it to start loading. So the dial is gonna start picking up loading when we move slowly down. To our 12. Not really sure why we load at 12. That's just the magic number that Kent tells me. So, um, yeah. And then we're gonna watch it uh, break. So our, our ones were failing around 7,600 uh, thousand. So I guess that's to be expected because. These had a much lower slump. I think the water content was a lot lower. Our adjusted quantities were uh, higher than we expected. Here you go. So these are some of our crushed samples. You can see there's a nice 45 degree failure. Um, this one's showing a lot more pullouts in the concrete. So where the aggregates, aggregates get pulled out, meaning our cement um, wasn't as strong as it could be and that's why it's uh, it's not crushing the aggregates but it's actually just pulling away from the cement. If you look at this prism here, this is a recycled uh, reclaimed aggregate mix. Um, typically you, don't, you really don't want to see this many voids and this would not be really serviceable in a building or even in our concrete skis. Um, so that's not really what we're going for but uh, it's good to see these tests so we can uh, enhance our mix in the future. So Concrete Toboggan has helped me uh, immensely in my undergrad career. Um, especially in those early years, you don't get a lot of hands-on experience. You're in the class a lot, a lot of theory work. Um, and just getting to come out here down to the ADL, uh, using the big mixer, you know, curing our samples, testing concrete, pouring concrete, getting your hands dirty. That's really like an invaluable experience and it's really helped me a lot. Um, especially with seeing how the theory applies to when you're out in the field, you know, um, things don't always work the same way they do in textbooks. Um, and this is really where I've gained a lot of my most valuable learning from is at the ADL doing concrete toboggan stuff. So um, the, the competition itself has been a great experience. You get to meet engineering students from all across Canada. Um, and again, you're, you're building your concrete, you're building your toboggan, you're testing um, throughout the entire year and the competition is just a really nice way to validate all of the work you've done, see if your design has actually worked, um, and actually test the engineering um, principles and test your design, really. It's, it's a really fun competition. Um, it's competitive, but uh, it has a really nice atmosphere to it. Everyone wants to help each other, learn from each other. So um, in that way, I couldn't have put a price on this experience. <laughs>